welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue building the ultimate research submarine capable of uncovering the ocean's greatest mysteries. Let's get started. So yesterday we actually built the hull of this thing which is this entire outside part right here but today we're going to be adding an interior part to it. So I'm guessing there's going to be multiple interior videos because this is a fairly large submarine I'm gonna be honest. So let's go ahead and bring this to the workbench. Start on the interior here. So I think up front here we're actually going to add a sonar room. So up here is our ballast room. We already discussed this yesterday and then back here we're gonna have a sonar room so like we need um to have like a really large sonar in this thing i don't know how this is gonna work but that's just up for up here right here is gonna be like the bridge i don't know if that's what you call it in a submarine let me know if i'm wrong in the comments so right here we're gonna be building the bridge area so this is where all of our um controls and stuff are gonna be at so we're gonna have multiple different stations here for all the different types of equipment we're gonna be operating here so we got this area done and then we need a place to actually sleep at so we're gonna have a bunk beds here so we're just gonna actually place the bunk beds actually i just typed in bunk beds it's, they're actually just called beds so we're gonna put a bed like right here um, we're just going to test if this fits because I honestly am just testing all this right now. Okay, bed right there and it is not going to fit. So I think we might have to have it like off the wall a little bit. So like that and then could we do that? Um, I don't think so here. Maybe uh, two blocks off the wall would work. And just like that, I think that's going to work, guys. And then we could have a little divider like right there and continue putting like probably three sets of bunk beds here. So we have some place for the crew to sleep because that's always necessary in these types of submarines. You need somewhere to sleep, of course. So I don't know what we're actually going to put behind the bunk bed room. Um, I have no idea, but we need a whole bunch of room for our nuclear reactor. So we'll have to figure that out. Let's go ahead and cut out a door right there. All right. And then it's going to be a watertight door. We need all these to be separate compartments. We cannot have a water flowing through compartments. So let's go ahead, grab a door real quick. I think this is too short. Um, all right, there we go. We got our door. We'll have it angled like that. So it goes inwards and it'll open up. But um, we do have a whole bunch of room behind these bunk beds here. So that might be an issue. I don't know what we're going to put behind here. Oh gosh. Um, I have no idea. I think what we're going to do now is just um, flatten out the ceiling here because we definitely, oh gosh. Okay. We can't even flatten it out here. Maybe on the bottom part right here i don't know if we can have that top part curve just because our the bunks are in the way but and then i don't know what we should do for these walls right here maybe we'll just do like a wedge like this and it'll point you down i don't know how this is gonna look guys i'm not really thinking that's gonna look too good honestly it's not looking too bad i don't know i just really don't like how high this ceiling is let's go ahead spawn it and see if we can walk in it we definitely can right here's the crew room okay it's definitely too high we definitely want to uh, make it lower so maybe we can have these bunks on the floor instead of one block up so we can lower the top ones and then cover this top part with like some extra block because these ceilings are definitely way too high so let's go ahead and do that right, so we're going to do some cool selecting right now we're going to select that and completely cover all of these beds here to bring them down an additional block so so you cut them out like that and lower and there we go just like that beds have been lowered and we're going to merge them and we're going to do that to the top layer here so we're going to cut out the beds just like this um i don't want to cut out the ceiling here there we go and move them one block down there we go now this is looking much better we're definitely going to be able to make the ceiling lower lower and there we go we got the ceiling like that and then i think if we do something like this oh wait hold on our um area is right here so this is going to be the entrance right in the sleeping quarters i don't know if that's a good idea uh oh you know what i think we need to completely cut all this stuff out of here and we're going to put it one uh we're going to put it an entire area back so we're just going to put it like this so we're just going to bring it back like this so right here is actually going to be like our bridge and control area it's going to be much larger than i was thinking but that's completely fine um is it out of the way there we go all right so this right here will be the the door so we're gonna put the door there and, and then since this is gonna be like the command center slash control room where we're gonna be driving this thing we're gonna cut out this wall here and probably back it up a little bit because right here was uh gonna be the control room at first but i think it's definitely gonna be angling forward so i think like right here would be enough room so i think right here is gonna be the front of all the fun controls and all that stuff so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna grab a seat and this seat is going to be in control of basically operating this entire uh thing which is a little concerning but completely normal there we go we got our two seats here we're gonna need the center dashboard just like that and then we'll have like a whole bunch of i have a whole bunch of like buttons are right here on the sides and then we'll have screens up here that'll show what's in front of us with our depth sonar and a whole bunch of screens so those will be the two pilot and co-pilot seats right there maybe we should swap the seats uh instead of using a steering wheel because that looks like we're driving a car which we're definitely not so we'll just use this seat right here that'll definitely work but then on the sides here we're going to need some displays so we'll have it like that and this right here is going to be our sonar operator i'll probably forget that i made it like that but this is going to be our sonar operator table and we're going to grab a robotic pivot we go we got our robotic pivot there and let's fill up the table and this will make it just so the table's like at an 
angle so it's not completely flat on the ground that makes it look a little weird and then we're going to add an additional table right next to it and this is going to be our um mini submarine controller dude so he will be using a controller and he'll actually launch a mini submarine in spaces that this large submarine can't reach and that will be necessary in some research situations so there we go we'll put that there there we go and then right here is going to be our um ballast operator so this dude will be in charge of filling this thing up with water and actually bringing this thing to the bottom of the ocean to research whatever is down there that we're going to be researching so there we go we got that and then we're going to make an additional thing over here and this dude will be in charge of bilge pumps and water warnings so definitely a major factor here we definitely need all that fun stuff right here so if any water um actually gets aboard this thing this operator right here will activate bilge pumps and we'll also have like a whole bunch of buzzers and warnings and stuff that will alert us if there is water on board for some reason so there we go i actually have all these labeled so i don't forget because i have a terrible memory but we're gonna go ahead and spawn this thing in and see if um the light actually still goes through the hall which we really don't want but right here it's looking good so as you can tell like right here you can tell that the light goes through so that's why we added these blocks here you can tell like a very minimum amount of light goes through but that's perfectly fine and then up here we have the bridge so this is where all the fun stuff would happen we're gonna have like a ladder going down here with a periscope probably like somewhere like right here i don't know if that's enough room probably like right here we'll have a periscope this is where we'll be driving this thing we'll probably put this seat um another block back because because it is a little bit close but yeah that's his bridge currently so this is where we're all gonna sleep at so there's 12 bunks right here let's make sure they're all separated so what we're gonna do here is probably just block this entire thing off and then once we block it off we're actually gonna have like um a spacing around here so it'll just be one block and we'll probably have pipes lined through there that's definitely probably the best option we're running through there so let's go ahead and put all the blocks there and line it all the way through and connect it to the bottom part right there so there we go now we got a nice and cozy interior and we're probably gonna also have to delete um these wedges right here that's perfectly fine and there we go now this crew bait is coming together it's looking quite nice and cozy in here let's go ahead block it off and there we go we got a crew of 12 so now we're gonna start adding some curtains to these rooms so let's go ahead and do this here i did just grab this off of the workshop it is a random workshop creation i have no idea what the name of it is so let's go ahead and do that and delete that pipe right there but i'll see you guys once i'm done adding curtains to some of these beds all right we got spawned in now let's go ahead and check it out so i did something pretty cool with the doors here not really but when they open they open this way so if they open the other way that would actually make it the crew response time slower so i have them open that way so they can just charge through there if they ever need to because this is where all they're going to be sleeping so yeah so i think we definitely need some lights in here so let's go ahead and grab a couple lights all right, we have added some lights in the sleeping quarters so it's looking nice in here um these lights are tinted a little darker so you don't want them to be too bright because there are going to be people sleeping in here normally at all times on a submarine i'm kind of thinking the floor is going to be the same color as the um curtains here or we'll change the color of the curtains i don't know but we definitely need the floor to be like a blue color because that's how they are so we're going to be making it look as realistic as possible and then i think we're gonna have the walls be like some type of gray or i don't know we'll have to figure that out here momentarily entire floor filled up let's go ahead and grab like a gray color and start filling up these beds um let's turn on symmetry so it's much easier there we go all right fill up the entire beds we don't want the beds to be um like that so we're gonna make the beds uh i don't know i think they're actually life honestly we'll just keep them right it's a research submarine it's not like anything military so it doesn't matter that much so let's go ahead and fill this up just like that actually should that be wood um yeah i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have it be a, a wood color just on these posts right here it just makes it look a little more cooler all right we got all those painted let's go ahead and start filling in the interior of these so yeah i think this would definitely be a good color just something like this something simple nothing too complicated we don't need any type of weird design so it is just a bedroom nothing crazy i accidentally painted the curtain we don't want that to happen and there we go we got the inside of that one painted and i'm gonna go do it to the rest of them and there we go we got everything all painted in these rooms it's looking quite nice in here so just in case of emergencies we're gonna give some of these people some equipment in each one of these little pods here so they're gonna be filled with like a transponder and a light and i think a handheld radio let's go ahead and put a transponder right here and grab a radio and this radio will help um radiation detector that is not what i wanted okay here we go radio and then what else do you think we would need a flashlight definitely need a flashlight if there is an emergency going on but yeah and they need some oxygen so definitely need to put like an oxygen mask somewhere in here all right and then let's search up oxygen right now and there we go oxygen mask so this will let them breathe a little bit if we for some reason um start flooding so definitely hopefully that doesn't happen and then what we're gonna do now is just copy this just like that and just we're just gonna paste it in all of these little areas right here now we have to merge all of them in because if it isn't merged it would just fall out of place and it wouldn't be connected to the main body so 
Uh, in this game, red is the main body, so if you want something to be a part of the main body, make sure you click this merge button up here and connect it just like that. There we go. We got all these connected. We got oxygen, a transponder, radio, and a flashlight. That should be everything they need. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to plain fill this entire thing blue. So it'll make this entire floor blue. And if we don't want it to be blue in some part, we'll just color it manually. Okay, I think if we had the floors like this, it'd be better. Hold on. We're going to spawn it in and actually look because I don't know. That dark blue color was like really hard to see. So and now the floors are like a weird looking blue color i think this floor looks better for like a research submarine um the blue dark blue we had kind of looks like really military to me but this is looking quite nice in here and then also right here we need to add like a battery display so we don't want it to be like too crazy big we could probably have it like be like that so this will just display some battery information so our emergency battery and all that fun stuff and we actually need to add like a engine area like a nuclear reactor area that part's probably going to be like right here because it, it definitely needs to be big and these walls here are kind of looking a little plain so what we're gonna do for these walls since they're looking plain is you got to add some brown on the bottom and then up on top we'll add like that gray color so that just adds some design in the walls it's very simple but it makes uh, everything look much better and I accidentally just colored the seat brown we definitely don't want to do that bottom of the wall is lined with brown we'll just completely fill all this stuff in like that um I think we'll keep the ceiling white we're gonna have this front wall right here probably be a darker gray this is all for now guys this is not the final version it's honestly looking a little trash currently but that's always how it is on the non-final version and now that we have added a hatch here to enter from the top we're gonna add a ladder to actually get down because that's definitely important you need a ladder to get down so let's line the ladder down just like this have an angle like that and perfect just like that we have a ladder but we need to add some design to the ladder we can't just have it be completely ladder so we'll fill it up with blocks like that and put some handles like that in between each one of these things so let's grab a handle here and you'll see in a second that it looks a little bit better not a whole lot better but it definitely looks better just like that we have a ladder going down so definitely cool stuff we got going on and let's put another seat um how far are the seats back we'll put another seat right there so as you remember i put a battery run right here so we're gonna add a battery switch so we're gonna have a dial here and this dial will display how much battery Battery we actually have on the main battery and then the emergency battery we'll have an emergency breaker up top here and this breaker will um, activate our emergency battery just in case there is an emergency now what we're gonna do is add some indicators here that will warn us if we are really low on battery so these will be painted red so this is the main battery right here emergency so if this goes below like 25% or something this light will go on it will be a battery warning so this will warn if um we are really low on electricity. Then we'll put a buzzer here, which will um, scream at us if that happens. And then we'll have a breaker right next to it, which will um, mute. And then we're gonna have like a diesel generator in this thing. So let's go ahead and add that. We're gonna have a key button right here, and this will start the diesel generator. And then we'll have a dial here, which will also display the electricity output of the diesel generator. There we go. We got it named diesel generator. We're going to put it so we only have to hold it for 0.1 seconds to activate it. And right here is going to be our bilge pump system. So we're going to line this entire thing with key buttons. And each one of these key buttons is, are actually going to activate a uh, bilge pump in separate room. We're going to have a systems video. So we're not going to be adding any of the logic. We're just going to be placing buttons and dials and buzzers and all that stuff in this currently. So just some interior your stuff right here this will display how much water is in each and every one of these rooms and we can delete this wall right here and if we have any additional rooms we'll just um line them right here which we definitely will we're not gonna only have like six rooms in this thing i mean we might you never know i don't know how big we're actually gonna build this thing but probably like that many rooms at max i don't know it depends on how many rooms there is of course so there we go we got our bilge pump thing set up here and then we actually have to add like a buzzer there we go we got a buzzer here let's select it so this is what it will sound like if we have water Pretty cool. And then over here, this is our battery warning. This is what our battery warning will sound like. And it'll, it'll blink on and off like this over and over. And then we will have to mute this and probably start our generator and emergency resurface if our battery is that low. That's probably going to be it for this interior video. Let me know in the comments right now what we should add next for this thing's interior. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer series because it is a much larger boat. I have to build a reactor in this thing. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Shout out to you if you do. Let me know in the comments if you are subscribed and I will heart your comments. But thanks for watching and goodbye.